What is up guys, Euclid back here with you again. In today's video, we're gonna be going back to kind of the roots of my channel, the videos where I would sit and literally talk about upcoming projects, if not new releases in the future. Today, obviously, as you might've seen from the thumbnail in the description, we're gonna be talking about Metro Exodus. And it's actually not so much, again, a reaction, but more of a view and a talk about video. So kind of a reaction video for the E3 2018 gameplay demo, which is in 4K for Metro Exodus. I've never seen this video. I had plans to do that as it released life got busy as shit so forgive me for that as those of you that are actually tagging along for the, what's probably going to be a semi-long video as we talk about what we can probably expect with the further release and the future release of Metro Exodus beta version of Metro Exodus anomaly Throwing explosives. An actual mutant. Human mutant. Gargoyles. Demons are looking nasty. Skinnier. Like, they, they make a little bit more Metro, sense, I think. Metro, the epic first-person shooter series based on the novels by Dmitry Glukowski and developed by 4A Games, hits players as Artyom, a survivor and Spartan ranger in post-apocalyptic Russia. After the critically acclaimed Metro 2033 had its sequel, Last Light, the series returns with its third and most ambitious installment yet, Metro Exodus. This walkthrough takes place in a level situated near the Volga River, shortly after Artyom, his wife Anna, and their fellow Spartans discover there is life outside the Moscow Metro and flee the tunnels on a hijacked train called the Aurora, heading east in search of answers. The Volga is one of a number of huge open levels in the game. Hell yeah. This is a bold new concept for Metro, but these self-contained worlds are woven together by more traditional, linear levels. The Volga contains many hours of gameplay, but this walkthrough will focus on just a handful of segments in order to demonstrate the multitude of new features AK in Metro Exodus. Having been briefed by the Spartan Order's commander, Miller, to explore the area, players will quickly find themselves thrust into a dangerous and hostile world. Even far away from Moscow, radiation levels are still a constant threat, with players having to manage the time remaining on their gas mask filters in addition to their other resources. Alrighty. Scavenging for chemicals and materials God, that can be used so to craft equipment and ammunition, therefore, is a must, and you'll be immersed within a world that constantly demands your attention in order to survive. The Volga level is many times larger than the most expansive level in Last Arts, Light, chemicals, and is indicative ammo. of the new sandbox survival gameplay mechanic in Exodus. A critical narrative path is always there to follow, but these wild, open environments offer countless locations to explore and unique encounters for those who dare to venture off the beaten track. As is always with Metro, I'm going to be quiet in different parts when the narrator obviously speaks when the developers speak. Some of these locations may reward you with upgrades and new equipment, while others may provide greater insight into so the lore good. of Metro. Within these huge environments, players will traverse the territories of the mutants, bandits, drifters, and survivors that inhabit post-apocalyptic Russia. Here, you'll see the AI biomes in effect, where humans, mutants, and animals will all react differently to their surroundings, depending on a variety of factors. Look, Players may see mutants a hunting rabbit. other mutants, and an open firefight could attract unwanted or maybe wanted attention. <sighs> Early into their mission, Artyom and Anna stumble upon a group of cultists who believe electricity and technology caused the destruction of society in Russia. Here we go. Having infiltrated the cultist church and rescued two of their prisoners, players must find their way back to Miller and the Spartans and can choose a number of different methods with which to escape. As with any Metro title, Exodus places the onus on the player to choose how they progress. Stealth all the way, baby. It's possible to play this entire level without killing a single human being, or if subtlety isn't your style, you can adopt a take-no-prisoners approach. Regardless of ethics and playstyle, however, there will always be a need to infiltrate areas with a level of discretion. Stealth, therefore, plays a significant role in Metro Exodus. Yes! With the ability to modify weapons in the field, players oh, can customize their setup depending on the situation at hand. <laughs> yes. The flexible Kalash can quickly transform from long-range to close-quarters <sighs> configuration. And with the right upgrades, the basic three-shot revolver can be turned into a silenced, six-chambered, and deadly accurate handgun. That's badass. Crouching okay. and sticking to the shadows will reduce your chances of being discovered by enemies. 
The blue stealth yeah. indicator on your wrist will glow when you're at risk of being seen. Interacting with the environment around you is also key. Extinguishing torches and creating a distraction by throwing tin cans to confuse enemies as to your whereabouts, allowing you to get close oh, and execute shit. a silent kill. This little six shooter pistol. If it's too difficult to approach from behind, a throwing knife will bring down sentries Fuck. from range. Okay. I love stealth. That's what this game is. Oh. Oh, yeah. If your presence is discovered, perhaps through a missed shot or by making too much noise and the alarm is raised, the game isn't over, but the rules have changed. The heretic Players is here. will hear dynamic battle chatter as foes call out to their companions and attempt to pinpoint your location. Enemies will try to hunt you down as the game transitions into a frenetic action-oriented shooter. <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> yep, give himself a little healing shot. There we go. As you eliminate more enemies, some might finally realize the threat of your presence and surrender forcing you to make a decision and decide their fate. Can you cuff them? Praise be to Tsar Fish, the protector of the people. Wow, okay, yeah, the fish is obviously like their god, in a sense. This is nuts. For the full range of weapon crafting and modification options, players will find workbenches in small outposts scattered throughout every level where they can customize their loadout. That's fucking sweet. Everything from med packs and gas mask filters to ammunition and throwable items can be crafted at the workbench from materials scavenged in the field. As players use their There's weapons, dirt and grime will accumulate on them in real time, reducing accuracy and damage and making them prone oh to jamming my God, and open this is fucking Resources sweet. Resources can be spent cleaning and maintaining your weapons here. Another signature feature of Metro is the unique arsenal of handcrafted, improvised weaponry. Yes. There are hundreds of modification combinations that drastically affect a weapon's stats and performance as they are stripped for Holy upgrades. Holy shit! Every component in a Metro weapon is modeled on real-life materials, such as a Soviet-era kitchen utensil that forms part of a heavy stock to provide stability to the Kalash, or the fan-favorite Tiha, a pneumatic sniper rifle that fires ball bearings for silent, long-range kills. Yes. The Tiha has its very own set of upgrades available, like increasingly airtight seals keeping up air pressure in the pneumatic system. Okay. Your equipment can similarly be repaired or upgraded at a workbench, allowing you to increase your protection or mobility with upgrades to your helmet or armor, or make life a little easier with additions like a compass to your wrist bracer. Fuck yes, dude. That's it. Take what we love and Outposts make it better. Outposts also provide a new feature to players. Rest. You can change the time of day depending on how you want to approach your next challenge. During the day, enemies may be spread out, on patrol, and easier to pick off. However, you too will be more visible in the daylight. <sighs> yes. Attacking an encampment at night might mean enemies are sleeping or huddled around a camp. A more concentrated threat but you'll benefit from a stealth approach. Oh, yes. Seven, seven, six, the day. I need to pay more attention, obviously. I'm a little, a little mesmerized. Turn out your damn flashlight, bro. <laughs> Even in such open environments, claustrophobic, close-quarters combat is never far away. Players will still experience the tense, frightening encounters that have made Metro what it is today. But these moments of pure, anxiety-inducing combat are seamlessly embedded into the wider, open levels. Oh. Oh, fuck me! Okay. 
With Artyom and the Spartans a considerable distance from Moscow, they will start to discover how radiation has affected different life forms across the country. Humanimals are a new mutant to Exodus, fierce and unrelenting. The A-Shot serves as an effective close-range weapon for this frantic, breathless type of gameplay. A marked distinction from more tactically demanding human encounters. Oh fuck! There we go. Threw a fucking cinder block at him. One handed. Oh, bitch! I was like, that's awesome. Come in! Yeah. Anna went off the grid. Any ideas? Anybody know anything? She was going to check out those antennas on 200 meters from the Aurora. Did you hear that noise? Alone? What the hell? And what did you all do? Artyom, get there on the double. Miller over and out. Miller! Artyom's wife. Miller! The Spartan Order's top sniper has gone missing and players now have a new directive to find her. Anna. Mission updates will be marked on a player's map, a physicalized object that you can access at any time. Metro avoids the clutter of HUD and UI wherever Hell possible, yes. communicating all critical information through tangible, tactile objects to increase immersion. Ooh. Whilst nighttime can provide cover, it brings its own set of challenges. A watchman on patrol can spell danger, and if not dealt with, it will call its pack to ambush you. There was one by the car. And in a world rife with dangers, a more mysterious threat is that of the anomaly, a roaming electrical phenomena that expels radiation and will kill you if it gets too close. Anomaly! It's see, they're trying to make give us a mix of Metro and Stalker, which I love, because I've been playing the shit out of Stalker this week. That's the reason I've been making as many videos. I've been taking a break from making videos, playing Stalker, getting back into this game, just getting back into the zone, as it were. Oh, yeah. It's a radioactive zone. And I know it's just 776. Was it 775 before? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Oh, hello. Anna! Hey, girl. Artyom. I heard you call me. It was so great. Their facial expressions. But I heard you. They have such a complicated relationship in the books. Upon finding Anna, it's clear the effect of radiation in an enclosed environment has taken its toll. Artyom will need to find a way to open the doors in order to get out in time before the gas mask filters run out. Yep. Oh my god, it's just fucking thick with radiation. Spider webs, there could be any amount of creatures in here that we faced in the past, as well as new ones, obviously. Humanimals are an interesting concept. Although much of the surface is breathable now, Metro Exodus retains the claustrophobic gas mask gameplay Ooh, that the series is known for, magazine, where your Nixie watch ticks down the minutes and seconds of air left Oh, you can take the mushrooms! In comparison to previous Metro Ooh, titles, you can take the players mushrooms. can craft new filters in the field if they have sufficient materials to do so. But it will always be under constant threat of mutants and limited resources in this haunting, Atmospheric Fuck setting. yes! Thank you! Oh my god! The green glowy mushrooms have always been a signature thing within the Metro series as well as other games. It looks better, but it still feels like a Metro game. Oh! Oh! You riddled him with bullets, dude! Yes! Oh, this is gonna be such a good game. I like the look of the filters. Ooh. 
Oh, hi! If your gas mask gets damaged, you also have the ability to make a temporary field repair. Although until you can what? find a workbench, your vision will be somewhat compromised. The reload is cool. Nothing a little duct tape can't handle for the time being, though. I love it. Get the lights on. Oh boy. <laughs> Give yourself some some healing goodies, the good good. One of the key new aspects of gameplay in Metro Exodus yes! is the dynamic weather system Rifle. and the day-night cycle that offers tactical opportunities. Oh my god! At the midway point in the level, Artyom must steal a train carriage to add to the Aurora so that they can transport the additional survivors that have joined the Spartan ranks. <laughs> With the yes. darkness of nighttime and the storm providing cover, players will want to whittle down the large number of bandits on guard one by one as they keep to the shadows in a stealth assault the train yard is just one of many settings that demonstrate the progression seen in Exodus from previous <laughs> Metro <laughs> games. I like the more rapid. The classic Metro gameplay Sorry. elements of human and mutant combat, stealth and resourcefulness, all set in tense, frantic and often claustrophobic environments, are ever present. Ooh, Juggling the charging of your battery to keep power flowing to your night vision goggles, disabling tin can traps, oh, we can do keep that the now. air pressure in the Tiha high all while staying alert to the hostility around you, are all part of the unique and highly engaging gameplay that has made this series so revered. Yes. Attention to detail yes. is another contributing factor yes. to that status. Oh my god. Everything in Exodus is built on real-life lighting, materials, and physics. A knife thrown into enemy armor may not penetrate deeply enough to kill them. Just like you can extinguish lamps, shooting them will cause them to explode and a fire to spread. Ooh, hey girl. As a player, you will need to hone both your aim and tactics in order to successfully right through the board. navigate Thank your you. way through the game. Yes! This was just one brief stop on an epic journey across post-apocalyptic Russia. Oh my Metro God. Exodus offers a world of stunningly rich environments to traverse and explore. Ever. New and overhauled gameplay mechanics and unsurpassed attention to detail. For fans of the series and newcomers alike, the gripping next chapter in Artyom's story promises countless hours of tense and exciting exploration ahead. Yes! 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 It's going to combine elements of both games, of both series, of Stalker and Metro. And that's exactly what we want. That is exactly what we want. That's something I've been waiting for. Oh, my God. You know what? You know what? Another big deal about the Metro series is, honestly, and I think we can all agree about that, is that they're an underdog. 4A Games, I mean, everybody behind the Metro series, they're all underdogs let's go to that real quickly let's just real quick right there yeah these guys i mean they got such an immense amount of applause with the reveal trailer with artyom creeping through the tunnels of the metro and eventually finding his way onto the familiar onto the unfamiliar surface that we go onto but this was open fields and plains as a matter of fact it reminded me of concept art from stalker fall uh, shadow of chernobyl that's what it reminded me of so we're going to get a feeling i think they're really trying to kind of you know bring that back to light they i don't know what kind of budget they had i don't know but there's a certain charm to the quirkiness and the clumsiness, but the still 
dreaded melancholy that surrounds the Metro series, and that's something I really love to see. Like, that's something I've been wanting to see for a long time. I know this video is months late, and I really don't give it. I don't care. The, I just, I felt like I owed it this tribute. I already made a video trying to promote, for the most part, the collector's edition, which I'm going to try and pre-order in a week's time if there's any left. Hopefully there are. But uh, if you guys haven't seen that, I'll leave a link to that in the description below, because you guys should check it out. If you're a big Metro fan and you don't know, they did release a Metro uh, Spartan collector's edition, which comes with a statue of Artyom. Um, holding back the, uh, the, uh, holding back the Watchmen from, not the Watchmen, but it was holding back one of the uh, creatures from the extra series. If I'm not mistaken, it's a newer no Salus, but I'm probably getting it wrong. But from the gameplay reveal trailer, from the actual reveal trailer from E3, there's a uh, thing on that. There is a, his Spartan dog tag, Artyom Spartan dog tag patches. It's just, it's really cool. If you're a big Metro fan, I recommend it. Oh, and I have a correction to make for my last video for those of you that did watch it. I stand corrected. The uh, the Aurora edition can be purchased on Steam, but it's called the Gold edition, and it's digital. Everything is digital in comparison. But you do still get the soundtrack, and you get the audio, you get the art um, digitally. So if you have a printer with photos or something like that, photo paper, you can print them off that way. Still, I prefer physical copies, so maybe I'll get an Aurora edition in the future because I'm sure there'll be some left. There always seems to be. Uh, some of those floating around, or you can get them cheap online. Back to the point, though. Metro Exodus. Yes, 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 yes. The customization looks phenomenal. Honestly, I can't tell you guys. I couldn't be more excited about the customization that we're going to get from... Just imagine it. Yeah, I, I'm guilty of always having an AK-47 you know, AK and a silenced pistol in the games. I'm always guilty of playing nothing but stealth mechanics. There's going to be missions where you have to run and gun, and I know that's a thing, but... I, this is going to be even better. The day-night cycle, having to sneak around during the day, you don't just get night missions or dark missions. And I know we're going to get, I know for a fact that we're going to get those familiar feelings. I remember when he dropped down and he was looking at the door and he was just like kind of pausing like, oh, fuck. Like, yeah, that was, it's a metro tunnel. That is a metro tunnel that he was in. And so you just don't, you can't, it's like almost like he can't really... It's like he can't really escape his fate, and that's the part that kills me the most, that I love the most, is that even though they're on this train, on board the Aurora, heading in a totally different direction to find people and just get out of it, and they're making their own way with their uh, ranger com com you know, constituents and stuff, and Miller's going to be in it, we're going to have Anna, and I don't know who else we'll have, but if you guys haven't read the books, I mean, they... Oh. 2035 had it a, had a pretty emotional ending, for me at least. I really enjoyed the books, and I think this game's really going to complement both casual players who maybe aren't into the books but love the games, and those of us, obviously, that have done both. And I, I really recommend it. This game, I, I, I can't help it. There's, gonna, there's a hype train because they never failed to deliver. I have replayed each of these games at least, all the way through, at least 20 times each. And I can't tell you how much I love them. The only one, if... <laughs> I'm getting so ahead of myself. I can't help it because this this is something I should have paid tribute to and get and given and given a reaction to months ago. I just like got busy and I apologize for that. But now I can fully promote it with a release coming up with a collector's edition announced. The hype train is real and it feels kind of good to step away from Halo. Which yes, my next let's play for Truth and Reconciliation will be out this Saturday, so it will be out in fact the day after tomorrow. I'll be proud. Plan on releasing that early in the morning and then once again I'll be sharing it again on Twitter and such in the evening as well so feel free to check that out for those of you that follow me for Halo and for those of you that have been following me thus far and are excited for Metro feel free to leave a like on the video if you liked it or if you feel the same way as I do for those of you that watched it all the way through I appreciate it it really means the world to me I appreciate that you guys are here that you're still watching these videos and I'm getting in a more talkative mood feeling a little bit more productive and that's something that I think I've been lacking as such I've been kind of down with the winter months come in it sets in that cold air of depression but I love winter I love the cold plus it's a good excuse to stay inside and play video games so I can't really argue with that so I'm gonna try and make more videos like this to promote Metro Exodus to get more into it and start making more videos and I'm gonna start trying to make more you know more videos that actually cut up pieces of gameplay and we'll talk about it maybe if I'm get feeling a little bit antsy I might do something like that but guys Metro Exodus set to release in February of 2019 as a matter of fact just to confirm Yeah, yeah. February 22nd of 2019, guys. I am so excited about this title. I can't tell you enough how excited I am for Metro Exodus. But it just feels good because when they released that trailer for 2000, for 2000, when they released it for E3, 
the applause was unreal. Do you know how much it, it must have meant to such a small development team and studio? This developer is tiny compared to so many others, including 343, Activision, all these other major AAA titles, and it's saying, basically, we can take them on. We have the quality. And this is really good for those of us that really want more single-player campaign storyline games, because honestly, I'm not really a big fan of Battle Royale. It is cool, and it's successful for a reason, but I've been craving, you know, I've been craving more of that storytelling, you know, just more, more of a story-driven game. And that's what Metro Exodus is going to be for me. So guys, February of 2019, February 22nd of 2019, Metro Exodus will be releasing, as well as a collector's edition around that time. Are you guys excited for it? Have you pre-ordered your collector's edition? Either way, if you guys like the video, feel free to hit like. If you did not, leave a big fat dislike with a big fat reason why. And if you want to see more videos like this and others in the future, feel free to subscribe to my wee little channel. We did just hit 1300. Woo! And uh, I'm excited to see where we go from here. So thanks for being around, guys. I really appreciate you sticking around. The channel's growing slowly. But as my girlfriend reminded me recently, it's about having fun. In light of YouTube being crazy lately and putting all these parameters around videos, this is my hobby, and maybe it always will be. But it's a damn good one, and you guys made it better for me. So, until then, this has been the reveal, the gameplay 4K trailer of Metro Exodus. I am Euclid, and I will see all of you stalkers in the next video.